So it is about 11.45, um, and we got home from a late dinner, went out to dinner with my parents, my sister Dabo and her husband, and my kids and some friends. And um, I am just waiting for the police to arrive because apparently earlier today when I was campaigning, <laughs> um, someone followed me home, and um, I guess they waited for us to leave to dinner, and I was greeted by some things on my front lawn, one of which is illegal. And so I can't wait till the morning because then I might be charged if someone calls in these signs. And so there were other things, but I was welcomed home to the bus stop sign that I was standing at earlier this evening. So is it scary? A little bit, maybe. But I am strapped. I do have a gun. I do have bullets. So I don't think um, it's that extreme or that bad. I don't know if you could see it, but um, someone brought, and like I said, I'm waiting for the police. Oh, you can't see it. Shucks. Um, but I guess just making a political stand, people will do crazy things. And so let's be safe, everyone. Um, and I just thought that that was so funny. So hopefully the police get here soon so that they could take some of these illegal signs, um, take these signs off of my front yard. But it's just a little signal for me to stop because they knew which bus stop I was at. Um, and then they decided to follow me home, wait for me to leave and do a few things um, to my front yard. So I'm tired, but um, you know, doing these things, I feel like it makes a difference. Um, and I want to be an example to my children that when they get older, that their voice matters, their vo vote matters, and um, that they could stand for whoever they would like. But I hope that they do it kindly um, and not brutally like what we experience. So thank you, Instagram family, for watching my live. Bye.